everyone. In this episode, we will take a look at the latest update for Kali Linux, the most advanced operating system when it comes to offensive security. The 2021.2 release welcomes a mixture of new items as well as enhancement of existing features. Kali Linux is the only OS that is getting a lot of updates frequently, invites new security researchers to include their new tools as part of the official repo update, giving easy access to everyone, the latest tools, cool features out of the box. Kali Linux is now everywhere and runs almost on all hardware infrastructure, directly from the cloud to Android, WSL as part of Windows, and much more. One of the most intriguing updates is KA Boxer. So what is it and why is it important? For more than 18 months, Kali devs were working on KBoxer. They are apps and containers. For packages, a way forward for applications that are hard to package properly. But instead of being standalone containers, they are integrated into the standard Kali package management systems and can be installed, removed through standard app commands. But what does KBoxer do? So not every tool is easy to package, there are various criteria to meet, at times some crazy dependency trees or peculiar system modifications. You may need to use a legacy library or you may need to change a configuration of something that would break another application. So what do you do? Kali team works with tool authors to try and make it easier or spend many late nights trying to get it to fit. Using containers, you can put in complex non-standard package into a container and integrate it with the rest of the operating system, bundling it up into the packaging ecosystem. This means you can app install a KBoxer program and use it without needing to take any special steps. The best part is the integration of the images into the system itself. This means more tools compatibility, less issues when running them, something that required more pro users to debug and fix with the dev who wrote the tool, making it more work for them, which now is solved. Here is a quick summary of some of the latest changelog in the 2021.2 update. So the first thing we we'll look at is releasing KBoxer, introducing Kali applications now supported in containers. The second thing we we'll look at is releasing Kali tweaks, making it much easier to configure Kali Linux to your taste. The third thing we we'll look at is refreshed bleeding edge branch, receiving a complete makeover of Kali's backend that produces packages for latest updates. The fourth thing we look at is disabled privilege ports, opening a listener on ports 1024, TCP, UDP and below no longer requires super user access. The fifth thing we look at is new tools added, Ghidra, Visual Studio Code, Cloud Brute, Deer Search, Ferox Buster, Paku, Pirates and Quark Engine. The sixth thing we look at is theme enhancements, adding a way to quickly swap between double and one line terminal prompt and made XFCE4 quick launch tweaks. And the seventh thing we look at is more Raspberry Pi images, desktop wallpapers, NetHunter, Docker, parallel support, and various bug fixes. So let's jump in. So you can visit Kali.org and this will get you to the official website of Kali Linux. And as you can see, it is the industry standard. It's not about the tools nor the operating system. Kali Linux is a platform. So as you can see, it is compatible almost to every hardware you can see out there and works seamlessly. So there are all of the tools that you know and all of the offensive security tools hackers use and security researchers, they are all now embedded in Kali and it's growing on a daily basis. Kali Everywhere gives you different types of support on different platforms. You can go with undercover mode, WinCax, which is part of Windows and a lot of support like Android using Kali NetHunter. It supports ARM, bare metal, cloud containers, WSL, virtual machines, and can be booted from USB. You can choose also the desktop you prefer, such as XFCE, GNOME Shell, or KDE Plasma. A various taste for every user out there. So this is giving you three different options to use when it comes to the desktop. And you can take a look at the latest blog updates, including more information on KBoxer, the Kali tweaks, and more details about all of this latest update that you can see from here. So we're going to show you some of the most important updates as we discussed and highlighted in the latest changelog of this new 2021.2 update. As you can see, you can edit first your sources.list and make sure to enable the bleeding edge as well, which is crucial in order to support 
the latest stable updates on everything that has to do with Kali. So as soon as you do this, you can type as you saw up update, and then you can install Convenant KBX, which is also for Kboxer. And you can notice as soon as you're going to be running it by typing the command, you have to provide it with start and this will run on your local web server on the specific port that you can see, which is the 7443. So you can check out the port and you can see it's already running. And all you have to do is just type this address in your browser and you're going to be welcomed with the specific covenant, which requires you to set up a user. And now you can see there are a lot of things that you can do, like keeping your listeners, launchers, grunts. There are different templates, tasks, and everything can be run from within the browser. So this is really cool because it's the first time that we can see you can manage things like this under the browser and a graphical user interface. This will help new users as well understand the mechanisms of Kali Linux by providing a GUI and a lot of tweaks that you can use, just as you can see from here, making it more cool and more interesting to use. So in order to run any Kboxer, all you have to do now, as you can see from here, you can open up the terminal and just type the following command, which is Kboxer. And then all you can see from here is you have to give it arguments. So giving an LS, will show you that Covenant is already running on the container. It's giving you also the version, and this will give you an overview that you are already running the specific one. So you can use the search as well, and this will give you all of the supported ones. As you can see, a lot of interesting things, such as Zenmap-KBX is back now. As we know, it has stopped to be supported using Kali Linux, but now you can use it using Kboxer which requires specific libraries in order for it to run. So it is really great to see Zenmap, which is the graphical user interface for one of the most important tools, Nmap for hackers. And now you can see that you can run it. And if you do remember how to use it, this is really gonna help you perform a lot of things, giving you a visual and a mouse to choose whatever you wanna scan, explaining more parameters, seeing all of the results on the specific window, exporting everything into reports, which is much easier to manage, also giving you topology, giving you a detailed analysis of the ports that you can use from here. You can also interact with them and this will help you perform penetration testing or recon and it will help you perform even bug bounty hunting by looking at the things in a much visual way. As you can see from here, you can also check the topology in a graphical way, something that will help you when it comes to dealing with a lot of IP addresses that are found in order to find how it started, the route, and how the connection is made throughout the host. You can see from here in the host details, a lot of visuals as well, helping you understand how to work better using Nmap. So you can also notice the Kali tweaks, which is really easy to use. So all you have to do is actually access it from your terminal and typing Kali tweaks. It will give you the meta packages and a lot of options. So now you can choose to install Kali Linux large, Choose your default specific shell to use like ZSH or Bash. Performing other things really quickly using the specific tweaks from within the terminal and applying the settings easily. And now you have to be using the bleeding edge, which is really important. So the bleeding edge will make sure all of the latest supported tools will be supported without any issues. And if you want to refer to the documentation, you can see from here, this will help you install all of the tools and its original bleeding edge, which will give you less crashing and more focus on the tools to work with. This is a great thing because now you can rely on Kali and a lot of tools using the bleeding edge in case you have a different type of update or a fork from the specific security researcher who wrote the tool. So in order to do this, you can check from here. You can just add the slash Kali bleeding edge and the name of the tool behind it. And this is gonna install the specific tool using the Kali Bleeding Edge, which will give you more compatibility focusing on the work itself. So this is really great and you can see we're running the latest 2021.2 update, which also gives a lot of visual enhancements with more preferences for the user experience. So there are also new tools, so now you can install and run VS Code, one of the most important applications that lets you program your own tools using different languages such as JavaScript, Python, PHP, and more. You can also clone and synchronize your code directly on GitHub. This is a great tool for developers and security researchers writing their own coding 
when it comes to exploitation or writing their own tools, pushing everything to GitHub and a lot of extensions that can be used. So more tools have been introduced as well in this part of the 2021.2 update, such as adding, as you can see from here, a lot of new tools. So Ghidra was also released by the NSA and is one of the most important tools when it comes to reverse engineering in order to find and examine how tools are working and applications that could hide certain hidden things within their code. This framework includes a suite of fully featured high-end software analysis tool that enables users to analyze compiled code on variety of platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. This is a really important tool when it comes to reverse engineering and is now part of Linux. You can also find a lot of theme enhancements on the terminal, as you can see from here, by visiting as well the specific page. It's gonna give you an example of all of the tweaks now you can do, especially toggling between terminals. And if you're using Thunar, the default XFCE, you can now right click and run things open as root. This is really cool and a lot of new additions are now added. You can always choose the desktop and check out the latest updated wallpapers that is available now on different variations and desktop environment. So you can also notice the latest update on Kali NetHunter supporting the latest Android 11 and a lot of bug fixes and hardware compatibility support for even the latest Apple MacBook which uses the A1 processor. So this is a great update and we do encourage you to look into detail and test them for yourself. As you can see, this update is really cool and Kali Linux has a great team behind the developers and the security researchers more are coming through adding more of their tools to be supported in Kali Linux. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and as always until next time.